Hi, my name is Arnie Sigerson. I'm going to be discussing the chapter, The Neurons That Shape Civilization, from the book The Telltale Brain by uh, Ramachandran. And, well, basically my thoughts on the chapter. Well, he was discussing about um, the humans being able to predict other humans and uh, their movements. And he asked if there are some specialized brain module or circuit that allows us to do so. And then he mentions the mirror neurons that that uh, that help us do it. And I, I I was thinking, um, couldn't that just simply be that we have encountered these situations in our past experiences that make us, you know, I guess know the most predictable move that the other human will make. Um, I mean, certainly we're not always right what they're about to do, but, you know, I guess just like experience. But then again, he does mention that, you know, a child, when it's just a few hours old, mimics her mom, his or her mom, when, uh, you know, she smiles, the baby smiles, I guess. So it isn't something that, I guess, really from experience for the baby. But, you know, I, I don't know, just with some things, I guess we might you know, encounter these things and then, like, learn from our experience what the other person's next move would be, and that's how we kind of know. Then, uh, when he's talking about the patients that, that that get triggered, their mirror neurons get triggered when they see another person, let's say, gets poked by a needle, then that, that person feels that pain, and, it, well, it doesn't feel it. it um, the same neuron triggers it in their mind, um triggers the action but it doesn't feel the pain um so i was wondering if so i guess if the patient has closed eyes and i guess you would just tell the patient well i'm poking this person right now could it would it trigger the same neurons because i, I guess it's the sight the the sight f from a patient that uh that triggers the neurons the mirror neurons to like activate and so if it if it has closed eyes will that um, trigger the same neuron and I guess which also leads to then imagination if simply you don't you don't see anybody getting poked with the needle but if you would imagine I guess yourself or just someone else getting poked by the needle would that uh, trigger the same neurons to to make the same kind of I don't know action activity up there you know just by by imagining it which would make sense to me, but, uh, I mean, since it's, you can, uh, make your imagination kind of feel like it's really happening, if you're able to imagine it that well, that it would trigger the same neurons. So that's basically a few of my thoughts on the chapter that, uh, I guess could be further discussed.